I'm Dr. Charles Land. I am an orthopedic spine surgeon at Pinnacle Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, sacroiliac joint, uh, pathology associated with the sacroiliac joint, as well as uh, a number of different treatments that can be utilized to uh, address uh, problems associated with the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint is a joint that connects the base of the spine, the sacrum, to the ilium, which is a part of the pelvis. This acts to transfer weight and stability and is susceptible to wear and tear and degeneration. The sacroiliac joint is a common cause of low back pain. It's often an overlooked cause of low back pain. Uh, can be as prevalent as uh, around 15% uh, uh, cause of low back pain. A number of different studies suggest that up to 40% of patients that are post lumbar fusion surgery can have sacroiliac joint pain. There are a number of different causes for sacroiliac joint pain or SI joint pain. Um, the common causes of SI joint pain are degeneration, um, just like a joint such as your knee or hip can degenerate, so can the SI joint. Uh, additional causes of SI joint pain can include trauma. Um, these can be things such as falls, uh, car accidents, uh, anything where someone sustains an injury to the side of the hip, side of the legs or pelvis, and occasionally the base of the spine. Due to the changes associated uh, with pregnancy, the sacroiliac joint can become hypermobile, and this can be a significant cause of uh, pain as well. When I see patients who have sacroiliitis or SI joint pain, the common complaints are low back pain. This can also be associated with pain that goes into the buttocks, the hips, the thighs. Occasionally, patients can experience numbness or tingling associated with this. People will complain that it hurts when they rise from a seated position. It hurts uh, specifically when lying on one side. When making a diagnosis uh, for sacroiliac joint pain or sacroiliac joint dysfunction, a very thorough physical exam and history is performed. Oftentimes, imaging studies can be unremarkable for patients who have uh, sacroiliac joint issues. Because the imaging studies are frequently unremarkable in patients who have sacroiliac joint problems, the Fortin finger sign can be a very helpful tool in making this diagnosis. Additionally, a number of maneuvers that can be performed will reproduce the symptoms and pain that patients have associated with their sacroiliac joint pain. Once sacroiliac joint pathology is suspected based on the patient's history as well as the examination, an image-guided corticosteroid injection at the sacroiliac joint is used both as a diagnostic test as well as a therapeutic modality for treating these symptoms. Once the diagnosis of uh, sacroiliac joint dysfunction or sacroiliitis has been made, I will typically offer my patients a number of different treatments to include physical therapy as well as oral medications. When these methods are not as effective at treating these patient's symptoms, a surgical option is available for sacroiliac joint dysfunction. When patients who have failed uh, conservative treatment have elected to undergo surgery, I use iFuse in my practice. I use iFuse because it is a minimally invasive procedure. The incision is small, usually between uh, two and a half and three inches, and patients oftentimes go home the same day following the surgical treatment. Additionally, the triangular shape of the implant provides immediate stabilization across the sacroiliac joint. The iFuse system has been clinically proven to improve patient pain, quality of life, and function. I usually see patients two weeks post-operatively. I look at their incision to make sure it is healing appropriately. I obtain x-rays post-operatively to uh, confirm the uh, satisfactory placement of the implants. And I also speak with the patient to get a general understanding and idea of how they're doing after the surgery. Generally at the two week mark, some patients will have some degree of discomfort associated with the surgical site, but the vast majority of patients will report that the symptoms of the sacroiliac joint dysfunction or sacroiliitis has largely resolved, if not resolved completely. Sacroiliac joint pain can be a very common cause of low back pain that is frequently overlooked and misdiagnosed. If you suspect your symptoms are caused by sacroiliac joint dysfunction or sacroiliac joint degeneration, please don't hesitate to contact me or my colleagues at Pentacle